Well, first off, do you want to have your mind blown? Because I'm just going to show you something because I may have to change my 10 games uh, I want to play in 2023 because look at this. Like, what the hell is going on? Well, I'll tell you what the hell is going on. I get a... Um, a, a nice, unexpected um, message from uh, Rob today. I work, well, I work in the same area with Rob. Uh, occasionally, we get to um, uh, collaborate, which is awesome, but um, not as much as I think both of us would like. Anyways, he sends me a message out of nowhere today, going, uh, "Chris, um, do you have any uh, U.S. Civil War games or?" Uh, yeah, do you have any Civil War games by GMT? I'm like, I mean, like I said, it was a, uh, a nice random question out of nowhere. I was like, what the hell? So I said, yeah, yeah, I've got the U.S. Civil War one, and I gave him a list of other Civil War games I had, and I said, yeah, I was at Fandom 2 yesterday, and talking to one of the guys there, and he was going on and on and on about how good a game it is, and uh, I was... Um, he was like, oh, I was thinking about downloading the rules, but I want to be ethical, and I don't want to read the rules if you don't have the game. And uh, I said, yeah, I've got the game. So uh, I said, if, well, if you want to go with it, let's go with it. Um, but then I was, like, kind of sad. I'm like, oh, no, does that mean, like, the end of the um, the world undone? You know, and I'm like, no, no, no. Well, I'm sure it won't be. But, um, wow, that was interesting. I don't know where the hell that came from. So I was like, well, maybe you want to watch the Gettysburg movie with me, and um, like, what side do you want to be? He wants to be the Confederates. Um, so I said, okay, fine, I'll be the Union. I don't know Sweet P all really, so that that's that'll be interesting. Anyways, so that's one bit. Now we'll go on to this bit. Um, I'm liking the mechanic of what I'm doing. It's not fully fleshed out in my head yet. And I don't think um, there's any... Uh, all I'm doing is creating more available strength points on the board. But I've not... Um, I'm, not I'm not printing money, as far as I'm concerned. So this is a combination of... And I've also... Like I said, it's not completely flushed out yet. But I'm pretty hard, darn happy with the way it's going. And I'm not saying I would play this if I was playing with another human being, proper Der Weltkrieg. Um, for myself, I'm loving it. Um, it's probably going to shave off one turn of getting, of cranking out uh, available troops. It also, to me, I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. I just want you to see a bit more of this. Uh, this is not a big whatever. Yeah, so what I've been trying to do, I'm almost finished. I've just I've just got to move a few, uh, a few more... Um, a few more brigades out of here. I think I got to rail them out of here and start pop. The problem is for this, and I'll talk about it later with the move. Is I don't want to cause. I don't want to put too much troops here right now. I don't want even the Russians for a little tiny bit to start thinking, hmm, what's going on here? Uh, anyways, but I need to still, you know, put some troops there uh, because I got to start slam, I've got to ice, you know, slam the door here kind of thing, um, like create that corridor. I've got to get troops in play. All right. So that's one bit. So I'm trying to figure out a way, and I, I think I've mentioned in a previous video that, which drove me nuts or it sucked was, well, two things that sucked was one, I didn't realize that when you, um, stripped fortresses, they're just, uh, replacement units. They're not, um, available combat ready troops. I was like, okay. Which means it's essentially it's gonna take a lot of turns because you've got to get, so you've got to strip them and I guess they can be recombined that turn. So next turn off they go. But that still means you need to have a headquarters that hasn't moved. Uh, 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 yep, and you need the other troops that haven't moved, as far as I know. So that's a lot of non-movement, okay? And you're trying to bring troops in that are depleted, and then uh, bring back, obviously, full 
troops back. So I was like, okay, I'm, al I'm also, as you know, a big lover of divisional breakdown. So what can we do here? So I was like, all right, what we're going to do is, for example, in these guys, I I'm not going to get down to the specifics, but uh, maybe a little bit, wee bit. Um, uh, no, we'll talk about it in a later round. So what I want to do is essentially take a few uh, units, tr uh, divisions or whatever, break them down right down to like one strength point. So basically down to uh, regiment size in my universe, the divisional breakdown universe, and almost turn them kind of, I'm sorry, like in a weird, like almost like an alien queen just pumping out eggs. Um, they're never going to move. They're going to be like my nucleus. And all they do is sit there with an army HQ. And as, re as the replacement units arrive... Uh, or they're already there as a stripped garrison unit or whatever. Um, they're just there to form up one at the end of that turn. Next turn, they get broken down right down to one and then get recombined up to full. And then next turn, they get broken down. So I am creating... Available units, yes, way more so, um, and you know, perhaps maybe breaking or whatever. But I, in my universe, no, uh, I'm not breaking something because all I'm doing is providing more available strength points that are already on. I'm just turning potential into available, if that makes any sense. I've not, I'm not create like it's not like. Uh, next turn I'm just making more replacement units if no more replacement units show up well that's the end of my uh, you know turning potential into active all I'm doing is I'm just as far as I'm concerned I'm just playing around with okay you know if you want to make you know if, if A is B and B is C well then I can make you know C A and you get the idea that type of thing um, I don't see what the big deal is uh, and it makes my it's going to make, I think, things a little bit more fluid, a bit more uh, active, a bit more uh, interesting. I think the Russian, well, the Russians can do it as well. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I've just shaved off one turn. I can now start, really start pumping in things, which is going to start, you know, I don't know. I don't see any, I don't see any bad with it. The only bad is, is I got to keep a, a lot of paper. I got to, you know, keep things written down a lot. Big deal. I love doing that anyway, so, you know, and I've got to make, you know, I just make sure I don't recreate, you know, oh, wait a minute, you got two thirty-six divisions or something, but, um, yeah, I, I'm liking it. I, yeah, like I said, I'm almost finished, finished, but uh, I wanted to record this bit because um, I just don't want it to evaporate in my head, and yet again with the U.S. Civil War thing, like, what in the world? That's going to be, ugh, I'm going to have to watch some videos for that again. I've already watched... Um, uh, Cataclysm Now and um, uh, Wise Guy History, I already told, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, what's his diddle there, Rob, to go and uh, watch some of that stuff, so hopefully he will. Anyways, that's it. Boink.